What is going on guys? Welcome to this new save we're starting on YouTube. We are starting with Juventus. You might look at them and be like, oh, they're predicted first. It should be relatively easy, but Juventus, you know, in recent years and especially this season, uh, they're struggling even more so than the last couple of seasons uh, finishing fourth. Uh, aren't they? But yeah, let's give a bit of a explanation. Again, if we go back, yeah, everything here looks very, very nice. Uh, they're going to be a team that will suit our plans. So yeah, let's get into the main save for Juve, but definitely, yeah, wanted to point out like what's going to suit this is the exciting prospect that they loom as and a team to it's not like they haven't had success in the longest of times but it feels like they're just about to go on a bit of a a poor run of not just form I don't just mean in a for a few weeks or months but uh yeah the where you're seeing it it's to not let uh, them really fall off a bit. But yeah, we'll get in for like a few years uh, after a, a very good run. Uh, things might be changing. So let's get into the start of the save and we'll talk about where we're at and what's the plans. So here we go. We've entered oh, a new time, especially if you take a look, Juventus ringing in for their 125th season. So yeah, a little bit of a special reason to undertake uh, the job or take over the uh, job at Juventus. Uh, a little thing, I've always had a connection with Italy as well as I've got, you know, it, I've got mates that uh, are Italian and yeah, 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 say over the years I've known a couple of Italian girls, <laughs> I can't lie, but uh, Juventus, yeah, they're always a pretty fun team to manage, but like I said, there's always been a bit of a connection with some Italian names, uh, we'll say that, but on a point of the content. So, you know, I've been doing a journeyman following off last year. We had a good a good series last year. And, yeah, in FM22, I really, really enjoyed it. We tried to build off of that. And, yeah, we're still going to be going on that if you just catch up on it. We'll be joining a new club soon. Uh, but it's a mix of where I'm at in my life now. And, like, these last few years, I went really, really hard without seeing the bump in, like, recognition or something. Thing, especially for someone who's made these videos uh, for a really, really long time. And I appreciate all you guys that are still sticking around with the content and uh, yeah, having my core little fan base, which might be, which might be that. So I'm kind of accepting that now because I think like if I put this effort in the last three years, like the last three years, uh, my main series anyway, of course, I was going to have surrounding content like rebuilds and uh, just different experiment videos and whatnot you know, keep things, <laughs> keep things fresh. But yeah, my core series, uh, like I really enjoyed them. Like they were all really good series. Mind you, like the journeyman from last year as well. Like I had physical troubles, like where I couldn't even record, uh, consistently because yeah, I went through sicknesses and whatnot. Uh, like, yeah, it was a tough time. So that's probably a the perspective YouTube doesn't uh, generate in algorithms and whatnot and <laughs> take into consideration. You just must upload every single day at all costs, which is kind of what we're going to be ringing in here. So we're going to get through like the preseason. We'll go through all those transfers and stuff. This is going to be close to 100% live Let's Play, which, of course, I've, I've done once before. I did one with Newcastle United way back. See, come to this point now, these all these years, I've done all these different type of saves before, or, or more so the way of making the video. So apart from generally the preseason time, transfer windows, uh, yeah, we're going to be recording everything you see. We're going to try and get a few episodes out per day. You're like, wait, mate, you're not even uploading every day now. But yeah, the, the way I'm going to do the content, not as much editing. Essentially, I'm going to record the episode and get them out. Of course, I just have to render them so it's all put together well, but essentially not too much editing and yeah, just making 100% uh, live, let's play type of videos. Again, maybe videos a lot of people have moved on from. But yeah, if I was going to make the videos the way with a lot more effort and a lot of time into the videos in the last few years, like I'm at a point where I'm like trying to do a lot of other things in my life. And it's like, I'm a very valuable, like where my time is valued. You know what I mean? Like, 
like time is money type of thing like especially like when you yeah got a lot of responsibilities you know what it's like and when you're putting time into business and whatnot uh like my mindset is so on that so yeah no doubt that's gonna overlap into not just videos i make on youtube but like just anything i do in my life so yeah it's de- definitely on a time-based thing uh so i'm gonna put that time that I'm managing into what I do with YouTube as well because, yeah, you know those series I do, play off camera, all that type of thing. And recently, if I can't get an episode out for a few days or something, yeah, and (laughs) that's going to be, yeah, we're going to value or we're going to just really make the decision with the content. Uh, Yeah, uh, we're going to just record a lot of videos, record basically whatever I'm doing in the FM save, Again, as I said, apart from the when I'm so when you go over to the scouting screen and you just a lot of clicking and yeah, there's going to be a lot of just quiet time and stuff like that. So it's no point adding that. But yeah, a lot of games recorded and all that fun stuff. So yeah, essentially, I'm just going to be making my videos the way I can <laughs> for my current point in time because as I said, like we touched on, I, I really went hard the last few years and if you guys uh, look into and recognize that, <laughs> yeah, look into those series because I really enjoyed, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing them. So now we're going to take a look. We're just going to take a look. I'll do a bit more of a sum up uh, at the end of this episode if you want to stick around, but yeah, we wanted to get a good balance of explaining a reason why and then yeah well I like my first episodes we'll review the team a little bit and yeah and of course this year I've dabbled in a few different you know type of series and again it's just f- trying to find uh what's really yeah yeah what's really going to garner interest so right now that's where we're going to begin uh with Juventus we're just going to take we're not going to make this episode too long because essentially yeah we're going to see the key uh the key thing here so I was going to look at the ability of the players but look Di Maria injured up to three months Paul Pogba up to no surprise that Paul Pogba's injured I think notable yeah he's a player we've we've seen over the over the years a bit uh with some time at Man United and whatnot doing those saves uh, that's a thing as well, especially with no face cam as well. Like these days, it I love like a reminiscing type thing. Yeah, it gives a feel to the older content, I guess. Um, like when I'm recording episodes, like it's actually late. Like, you know, I'm from Australia, uh, but sometimes I'll just record the episodes earlier in the day anyway. But like the case here, uh, I'm actually recording this before the Premier League games start, but do the time difference calculations yourselves. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just dark in my room. It's a kind of vibe. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's just like it's reminiscent and yeah, I enjoy it like this. So that's uh, I'm enjoying while I'm making these videos. That's essentially it. So Federico Chiesa, four to five. Like this is tough. It's understandable why Juve's had a tough year as well. Chesney. So this is just going to be hard enough for us. Can we sort by... This like makes it look more damning. Look at this. you got a winger, keeper, another winger. Kies is very important. Midfielder in McKenney, who's... Yeah, isn't he? Isn't he important? You know, he's had a little bit of a move as well. But, of course, we're, <laughs> we're playing with the default team. So that maybe we could move him on. We'll see. Uh, we'll see the situation. Maybe you guys will get up in the comments, but for now, we'll manage with the squad as it is, uh, but Paul Pogba is going to be definitely one that is missed. So let's take a look at some positives. Like, let, can we, like, brighten things up? Like, can we get something to get excited about? So Fabio Miretti, he he looks... like That potential excites me, and I'm like, I see some weaknesses in his game. <laughs> oh, the marking, not strong enough. His defensive side, but... No, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of good areas in his game. Look, anticipation. Don't underrate that. At a fifteen, he's only eighteen years of age. A lot of other players his age, not even around the first team yet, and their attributes, yeah, not on a level, on the, not on the same level. Uh, if you look at someone like a oh, Muhammad Atarian, like uh, I feel like, or have I seen someone that has a familiar name to him? It could be it. E Hatteran. Either way, e- either way, he's he's got a li- he's got a little bit of potential, but yeah, I think I mean the Dutch over the years, uh, yeah, they've had uh, quite a bit of talents. Uh, you can't lie. So, uh, actually, in another save I played. 
Kulisevsky, Tottenham didn't sign him permanently. Juve, so they, they got him back, but they let him go on a free when his contract expired, which was kind of mad. I wouldn't uh, look, but that's already part. He's confirmed to join Tottenham. It must have been a different, there must have been an update with that, or it could have been last year or something. Like, like, like I don't know. It must have been early. There, there was definitely something in terms of that. There was So, yeah, he's moving for sure. There's one thing we can do for now is, to make sure of this, is we go, we go the not at club because, again, my old adage, if they're not at the club, you cannot select them. Obviously, you want to keep updated on those players that are going to come back from being on loan. So, yeah, uh, can consider that. But you look at the positives. Locatelli is joining permanently. Moise Kane joining permanently. As I've, I've always liked him, but I've always felt he could also be more than he's been. Like, I think mentally is where he probably lacks... It just in a couple areas, he's got some strong attributes as well, like that physical. Like he's got strength and like, oh, yeah, he's got a bit of speed. He's not too quick, but when you're that strong and you know, you've got 16 acceleration and 15 for the agility and pace respectively, he's just got a few things there, like his decision-making isn't the best. Vision, teamwork, 11, still on that lower side. Yeah, like he's got a bit, of, a bit to work with. He's on that younger side at 22, so... Yeah, like he's he's showing what he's always had, like a bit of talent. He just needs to complete his overall game. So, yeah, pretty exciting that you've got someone like him. And then if we go the other way, uh, can we just go back to the potential for a bit? Like uh, oh, Vlavic, he's he's an excellent. He's a striker. You don't have to worry about getting another striker. We don't even know what setup we're gonna go with. Uh, we are definitely going to work that out as we progress. As I said, we'll we'll do the preseason essentially off camera uh, because you know for the reason I already mentioned, there's going to be a lot of quiet moments through that, and it's it's kind of long for me. Generally, it's a four or five hour project at at a Mac. It really depends how fast you go through your signings, and but as you go through like one season. Your first season is probably you go through the quickest because then, yeah, you've got to build up to the preseason and whatnot. Uh, you've got players running out of contract that you deal with and that kind of stuff in the first, like after the first season when you go into season two, three, and beyond. So, but Dusan Flahovic, 22 years old, that's, that's a lock. I don't know if we're just going to use one man up top or two, but if we have formation, one striker, like you got your man there. You got your man there, and especially when you got a Milik as well, you could probably yeah. Especially you got two very good finishers, like n no, no. But that's going to be the problem if we can't go into the window or yeah, use the budget. Look at the balance. So before we get too too on our hat, too much on our hands, our feet, or put your hands in the air, your legs in the air. That sounds exciting. But however you want to name it, look at this or spend the wage budget is in the red transfer budget is more than the actual balance 7 million no it, it, no 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 there's a bit to be rebuilt that is absolutely for sure and that's after letting ronaldo go look at the wage like i guess you've got a selection of guys that are over 100k but it's it's juventus there is going to like what do you what do you expect Juventus a top Italian team in 2023 well it's 2022 but you get it uh, <laughs> it's like yeah what do you expect so let, let's take a look uh, have we got any more have we got some talents because you don't know the way things are gonna change you're like oh look Kayo. I've always liked this lad as well, but there's a few guys under that description. I feel like I turn into I've one thing is uh, his contract 2026. Give him a year, but if you don't see much of a fluctuation in that, he goes on on the chopping block on on the list to sell. So when you're just looking at him, I forget his name, forget his face. Fate, I mean, because that kind of ties together with his name. Uh, like, forget who he is, basically. As a as a FM player profile, 
and like you put the attributes and report together, that's a no, really. Forget or who he, if he was a guy I didn't know of, I'd say he looks very average and doesn't have a future at the club. Try and get some money for him. Because I've seen him and I've had him in the past in previous FM games where he's been he's been okay and he's been a bit better than like he's going to be below okay now <laughs> just part used to be maybe just passable rotation uh, depends what team you were of course but uh, we'll go into the B side and we'll take a look at it like this and if you take a look at the best option uh, Martin Palumbo well it isn't that exciting the best one is on loan so. Uh, he actually got a game, did he, there? Uh, a league game. Not sure if Juve see yeah, a bit of talent in him, but I, d- I don't see it admittedly. And and I was just going to point that out. That says a lot if he's the highest potential. Okay, th- there's a few of these other guys, but again, they're going to lack that. I, d- I don't think they're going to be, yeah, like him. You, you can just tell. They're not going to be top. We, we want top tier players in the first team. Like, here we go. You got Akeen and Yildiz, Turkish. Looks very nice. Looks very nice. Uh, before too long, it might not be like literally tomorrow, like for the next episode or whatever, but I want to get a, yeah, download some new face packs because I've got a big one, but I've got to download them in updates now from Sorted Out SI. Uh, if you want to know where I do cop those, but anyway, uh, yeah, he he's, he's solid. But, yeah, he's definitely one to be worked on. I think one to train centrally because if he's going to lack that pace, probably not up top for me or out wide. So an attacking midfielder, you know, center mid is probably where you're going to find his best role. Uh, for Keenan, I've always liked the name Keenan. It's, yeah, a pretty cool name. Uh, where are we? Samuel. We just take a look at a couple of the top guys. I'm not going to go through the whole list of players uh, to give you guys that idea. Uh, the way we'd be doing these videos. But anyway, under 18s, not a lot. Like, the, the hopes are not... We, there's no point looking at these guys, to be honest. The potential is really not there. So, not very exciting at all. The highest potential guy is Moretti. So, what I was saying before, the he's probably by force, if that's the right way to say it, put into the first team, give some youngster. There's no... Oh, there's no under, no, not even 20 year old. So it's a bit to his ability, but then a bit to towards, okay, a bit of hope on him. So uh, it's going to be a tricky one. I think overall, it's a very solid first team long term, kind of, because there's like older players as well. But I mean, at least when, when, when the injured players come back, that's the way we're seeing it. I think the money needs to go in youth, not necessarily 16-year-olds, but maybe someone like Fabio's age, like 18, 19, 20-year-old, like where they're still, they've got a bit of first-team quality. They've got area to improve, no doubt, but then they've got that potential. So unfortunately, like, yeah, I'm like, where's more of those talents coming through the Juve intake? Because again, it's like so... Want to win the Serie A? It's going to be all down to how we manage these injuries or how we get results uh, with the injuries. And then the second half of the season, I'm confident in it being strong, like I just described. I think the squad is strong. Forget them being injured. If everyone was back, I think it's a fairly strong side, strong enough anyway. Uh, reach the latter stages of the Champions League. So th- there's expectations right away. I can't lie. But again, if you go to the overall ability, like having that many of th- at least three and a half star, then you got Angel Di Maria. Uh, he's 34 years old. So phew, he looks good though. <laughs> Natural fitness of 15 is okay, but he's still going to yeah rapidly decline. So imagine what he's going to be like three months in. Uh, hopefully he hasn't dropped too much. So we've got to consider that. But yeah, I just hope the recovery rate is pretty good four to five months. It's, it's easy to say, oh yeah, we'll be fine when they come back. They're going to be out for a chunk for a chunk of time. Like for Chesney, maximum three months. The good thing is a bit of the preseason takes those injuries. Uh, it, yeah, takes some, you know, maybe a month or so off those injuries, a month and a bit off the injuries. So it won't look as bad. Uh, but you look at our parents. See, I remember when he was a like a young goalkeeper. 
<laughs> is he really 29 now? Wow. Uh, see, this is me in the years that have flown by. It's crazy. Eccentricity, 17. Decision-making, 12. Again, I point out, uh, it's not just the individual me thing, just a general football manager, goalkeeper thing. It's like if your eccentricity is high and your decision-making doesn't quite line up, uh, yeah, that's that's not so good. So, But his reflex is impressive. I'm actually intrigued to see how he performs in-game. Might give him a go uh, early on to see who's going to be better, him or Carlo. Uh, Pinsolio will take a look. But yeah, the good thing is there's older goalkeepers in the club. He's got good leadership, but his technique, his actual goalkeeping quality is probably not there. But I don't know if they're going to provide some kind of leadership ability with someone like a Leonardo Bonucci. Like, <laughs> he looks amazing. Like, bring me another defender or any any just player in FM with those kind of attributes. Of course, a legend that we don't have anymore. It was always those two that had crazy mentals. He's probably more insane, Giorgio. Uh, like, you'd be so fine with them still playing at least for a season or two. Yeah, him and, he and Benucci with those mentals. Yeah, they got them spread over different areas, but you're not going to... You always saw Bonucci second fiddle, second fiddle to, uh, sec, second fiddle, uh, to Chiellini, but yeah, focused on some of his impressive attributes as well. He passing is his best attribute still. Like, oh, yeah, he's a bit unique. You look, yeah, you analyze his attributes a bit. Like defensively, looks a bit average, poor pace, but yeah, those mentals really show his value. But yeah, it just shows you Juve are really looking in an interesting position right now. Um, obviously, we get your allowance, the non use. We'll get through um, all that. Uh, quite a few, quite a few expectations from the supporters there. Very. Very passionate, uh, very passionate supporters. That's going to be a thing as well. Uh, so we are just going to accept the current vision. It's it's tough, tough expectations. The way I see it, it's like okay, we'll just go to we'll get through that. I hate when there's a must respond. So we just whip in a four three three there, uh, Juventus. Uh, we could put a a quick pick. I don't even know if that's going to fit. Um, yeah, the side, but. Uh, you're definitely going to have to manage something with the injuries anyway. So, yeah, that was just a quick pick uh, to fit it in. But, yeah, someone like a Juan Cuadrado we didn't even talk about as well. Very valuable, could play on the wing side and then, yeah, as a as a fullback and even on both sides. So, But, again, he's 34. So, yeah, really, really interesting where we're going to see Juventus. So now we're going to uh, come t- – must spawn. We did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did that. Uh, yeah, we're going to come towards the end of the episode where, as I said, where, yeah, I would uh, just explain things a little bit more. I'm not going to go too deep with it, of course, but maybe a lot of it's going to be self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, where we are on the channel as well. It's like, yeah, for me, it's, it's like the last few years with the content, I put that in. I put that in. I put the work, check out the series. I've been really happy, yeah, with like, I say, the last three Last three years, I think since FM20, we've gone our main series, we've completed them, and we've done we've done really good saves. And yeah, there's part of me is like, what did I miss out on? Actually, I don't think I I did really good series, and I was I really happy with the work. And uh, part of me during the whole time, I'm like, yeah, I'm not seeing progression, but I want to at least d- 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 <laughs> maybe somehow the next year with with the first series in the next year, we'll build off that. Then it didn't come. Then it didn't come again. And the same with this year. So it's like, as I said, um, recently it, in my life, it's more about I'm putting time into, I'm just trying to yeah, grow uh, some other projects, businesses and whatnot. I'm yeah, doing what I can yeah, put, uh, yeah, put my work into because, yeah, without giving away too much, <laughs> that's kind of on the private side. But, yeah, it's like, that's going to be the same on YouTube now. It's like, I did that. I did what I I could have and what I was really happy with. And you guys that watched it, uh, I see the regular names and I'm like, yeah, you guys really, really enjoyed it, uh, which is, yeah, really, really cool. So I'm just going to try and get the best of uh, what I can do now. Hopefully you guys uh, will still enjoy 
the videos, but it's going to be more about me just, yeah, getting out, getting out the content. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to outline it for you guys, what it's going to be like. Uh, we get through the preseason and then essentially we're just going to do one game an episode. As I said, it's going to be, yeah, valuable. Um, <laughs> yeah, what I can get for my time and uh, I'll try and get out a few episodes a day. We're just going to try and, and the episodes will be quicker because again, it's adjusting, um, to, to the current time as well. A lot of the quicker content, uh, you know, I've actually uploaded a couple YouTube shorts, which obviously is not going to be the content, but it's kind of the idea what people like these days, like TikTok, people like short and quick. So yeah, we're going to try and get out uh, get out a lot of episodes and yeah that's going to be it so videos individual individual videos might be a little bit shorter uh, than the usual but overall hey say if we get through like three games in a day it's going to be quicker than maybe what i was doing before so anyway it's all about what we can do going forward so hopefully you guys will just enjoy uh it's part of me it's almost like an all or nothing type thing i'm like I don't want to give up on yeah thing I I've done for you know ten plus years, but it's cl it's been close to that. It's been close to that because um, yeah something I'm gonna put in multiple hours in a day to make videos uh, daily uh, like I was doing for a long time. Uh, yeah, it's like and when sometimes I'll make a video and I won't get a comment, and it's like that kept me going for a real long time. And yeah, it's like, I'll get a couple comments, maybe someone will ask me where's FIFA and I'll probably get annoyed, but not annoyed at, at that anyway, because I'll be like busy because I don't see that comment right away. Like I won't even look at comments maybe for a day because I'm out doing other things, other, yeah, whatever, <laughs> uh, focus on the business and whatnot. But yeah, it's like, yeah, I think you guys can uh, put things together anyway. So for the longest time, yeah, I, I really, I fed off that, um, maybe which is not a healthy thing as well. But yeah, rather it was good or bad comments. It was interactions for me. Uh, so yeah, there might have been a point in my life, say say if I was how I was a couple of years ago, how I am now, I might have been struggling more. But now I'm like, all right, I'm focused on my business. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting some other goals. Uh, like, yeah, uh, yeah, I've definitely had a transition uh, in my personal life. So it's like, okay, with this FMTV stuff, I'm going to do what's still in my capabilities, you know? So yeah, hopefully you guys will understand where I'm coming from and hopefully it should be obvious or uh, at least you can put it, uh, put two and two together uh, while we're making videos this way so we can still, you know, keep the content rolling out. And it's almost, if not an experiment, <laughs> like just to try and get more videos out, even if they are shorter and less time spent on them uh, because I've made other videos on YouTube as well that's actually separate to Footy Manager TV. I haven't really mentioned it because it's not connected to this and those videos have done better even though, yeah, they're quicker to do and I've been doing them less time. So an audience that's known me for a... Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing almost at it because it's crazy. Um, yeah, I've got a channel that's doing better that I focused on for less time and almost have got more loyal viewers on, which is crazy. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys that are here. It's more so the broader um, audience that, yeah, <laughs> that don't stay loyal. That's facts. But uh, yeah, just those kind of things that are interested. Um, yeah, very interesting to me. I'm like, okay, like this is working well. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's really interesting, but it's things I learn as I go by. Uh, most definitely and things that don't necessarily surprise me though I'm like yeah uh, but we're not going to go too deep on this we're going to yeah focus on making this a Ju Juventus focus save but yeah hopefully you guys get my motivations and everything behind me and yeah I could keep this end of video going I could, <laughs> I could talk about too much maybe uh, but now nah, we'll leave it short and sweet in comparison to that but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this series regardless what we're coming from. But as I said, just know from behind the scenes, yeah, got a lot of, yeah, my business mind mind is ticking. So I'm just thinking for this, 
for FM TV, for this business, what is the best going forward. So yeah, we're going to try and get more episodes out um, and really just make them shorter. And uh, yeah, you're going to see how we're going to do it. So I appreciate the support, you guys that are still supporting uh, the channel. I appreciate you guys to the most. And yeah, I just hope you guys, uh, yeah, you'll enjoy what we're going to be doing uh, from here on out. So yeah, uh, yeah, hope you guys understand. But look out for a lot of episodes coming. They will be a little bit different, as we've been saying, maybe a bit on the shorter side and the less edited side. But yeah, uh, the editing will be me not recording when I'm uh, just doing little parts off camera, but it will be yeah in a quicker sense. You guys will see it anyway, but I'll leave it there. Appreciate all you guys that understand. Maybe there's some that won't, but yeah, uh, definitely. As I said, uh, it's probably this or a, it's an all or nothing type thing because uh, the, the time might not allow that. So hopefully you guys uh, understand it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you in the very next episode.